This is how you can still succeed with Minecraft content in 2023. Today, I show you the secrets to improve your channel and start gaining more views, more subs, and everything. For example, myself, this is a brand new channel and I'm nearly on 5,000 subs. I know that's not a great amount, but I must be doing something right, so I'm just gonna share everything that I know. Maybe it motivates you, maybe it teaches you something, maybe it doesn't at all, but we're gonna have a fun time regardless. Enjoy. Okay, so so many people ask me this. They say, Chief, how are you gaining so many subs? What is your secret? How do I gain subs? Why am I getting no views? And this video, I'll explain basically everything I know. So yeah, <laughs> I'll also just have some gameplay in the background. They're pretty good games. So enjoy that as well. But anyways, the first thing that I would say, and this is the most important thing is consistency. So a lot of people, sure they post good content, but it's just not enough. Like for example, how many big channels do you know their views have just fallen off just because they've left their channel dry for like six months on end. YouTube is a platform where consistency does really help with just you getting your videos promoted more, push forward on recommended, everything. I'd also say focus on an idea and just make sure you execute it perfectly as well. Because some people like to rush out videos and sure I upload every day and sometimes I might rush out a video but for the most part I make sure that the idea that I try and do in the first place actually gets accomplished. This may take a long time, this may take a short time, there's not really a set amount of time for you to actually fully, you know, hit the nail on the head because for everyone it might be different and it depends what idea you're doing in the first place. Which leads me on to my next point, just be original man. This doesn't mean you have to create a brand new idea or a brand new series, but just you can use inspiration from anything or anyone, but just make sure you put your own twist on it because as soon as you start just doing the same thing what other people have done, people will catch on and it's just, you don't stand out. I'd also say be smart, like look what does well, especially for like Minecraft content, sometimes it just doesn't perform well and you'll put hours and hours into it. It's like for example people who do 100 day videos, sometimes they bang, sometimes they don't, but like why is this? Same with things like Bed Wars, like even some of my own videos, it's like just want to chuck this out there as well, I am by no means perfect, like I'm very small YouTuber, but of course, this channel has been pretty successful for the time that it's actually been alive. This channel is really only a matter of weeks old, and I'm nearing on 5,000 subs and a quarter of a million views on the channel. Of course, those are pretty rookie numbers in the grand scheme of YouTube, but I'm obviously doing something right. And I thought as well it'd be better for us to all get better and improve, including myself, and this is a good video to do so. Something as well that I think is neglected for a lot of YouTubers, especially startup YouTubers, is you've got to really try and be a perfectionist. Not to the perfect degree, but be critical on yourself, man. Like, not everything you upload is just a masterpiece. Like, it's been handcrafted by God, and a lot of people struggle to believe this. It's like there's been some videos where I've almost been, like, angry at myself that I didn't do a certain effect or you know, something after re-watching it for like the 50th time. And yeah, it, it's annoying, but it's something I learned. And YouTube is all about learning. Like you've got to be willing to learn because I heard someone who's way smarter than me say this, that like while on YouTube, you've just got to be a student the whole time. And then eventually you'll become a master, but it just takes so long. Like genuinely just practice, 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 practice. Also what you want to try and do as well with originality, I w I'll jump back on that point, is find your own style. Like it doesn't have to be the same as someone. It doesn't have to be what works or what's popular. Like just find your own style. Find something that's unique to you, something you enjoy. And trust me, if you stay consistent, things will happen. What I've also noticed is that loads of people are too nice on themselves and they just think that what they put out is just of such a high quality and expect views but realistically it is quite mediocre to be honest or just missing a lot like the idea isn't perfectly matched and just the execution is just lacking something one way or another and if you really want to become extremely good and successful on YouTube I feel like you've just got to start nailing these down and just being being really harsh on yourself isn't a bad thing it's a good thing because think about it you'll start getting better much quicker if you come to terms with just where you where you're weak at if you if you start eliminating all of your weak points you will improve tenfold because a year ago i was so bad at editing and now this isn't me saying i'm insanely good at editing but a lot of people say wow that's some nice edits you've done in this video chief which i would have never got before never <laughs> never in a million years my edits were absolutely terrible and now they're just slightly good and again, I'm going to still work on them. I'm still trying techniques. I'm still learning. I'm watching videos. And as you should too. And like I say, I'm far from perfect, but I do have some sort of credibility as this channel didn't exist like a matter of weeks ago. And it, 
Again, I've amassed like a quarter of a million views. And for me personally, I always want to try and improve myself. And you should too, as if you truly care, you'll put enough time in. And if given enough time and care, you'll see results 100%. Another thing is to make sure you do what you enjoy. So don't just make content because you know it performs well. Do something you enjoy because that will lead to higher quality content. Because if you're unhappy while recording or editing, you're just going to cut corners. And that's when you'll get found out and you just won't be as successful as you can be. And again, I am no YouTube guru, but I just think honestly, just try your try your best, man. Like, keep trying. You'll fail so many times. Like, it, it's guaranteed. And if you're one of the lucky ones who just gets, like, an insane video straight away, it's really not even down to luck. It's just really good execution. It's like you see these channels that have only one video uploaded and it's blown up, but then you watch the video, you're like, wow, that's a good video, which makes sense that it's blown up. Another thing to do is also see what does well from your own uploading. Like, what's your most viewed video? Why is it your most viewed video? And how can you... I don't know, do a sequel to it. Understanding your audience and understanding what your audience is going to gain from watching your video is also very important because why are you making the video in the first place? Is it to be informative? Is it to entertain? And are you accomplishing these things? Mr. Beast himself said it, if you make good content, good high quality content consistently, you will 100% find success on YouTube, no matter what the niche is. And that's the same with Minecraft content, because a lot of people saying Minecraft content is dying, it's not. It's just a lot of people are struggling to actually find a new breakthrough, and there's not been like a huge Minecraft trend, like the Minecraft butt trend, or like Minecraft manhunt. But there will be something, I'm sure it will resurface, but again, do what you want to do, do something you enjoy, and make sure you just execute that idea as beautifully and as technically as you can. And this means things like even commentary, try and speak clearer, make your renders look better, as nobody wants to watch a video in 360p, and just make it as aesthetically pleasing as possible, as nice on the eye, and engaging. One thing to work on as well is intros. A lot of people praise my intros and again I'm trying to improve them even more so but the start of a video is very important so always try and like make your videos engaging because nobody wants to watch a boring video. So just have fun with it, get experimental, try new things, test around, not everything's gonna hit but when you do hit something good that's when you can start moving and you'll see some serious results but you've just got to be ready to just fail seriously ready to fail but that's the things you learn from and hopefully this video i can actually motivate you to just keep trying man keep pushing and i believe in you we all believe in you you can do this once you accept the fact that not everything's gonna hit and you build that indestructible mindset i promise you you will find youtube not only easy but you will just get so good at it so much quicker just as i finish up this clutch i just want to say consider subscribing it's free i upload every single day and i'm still trying to improve myself and hopefully you noticed this from the start and the first video i uploaded on this channel which was entirely uncut to now the sort of quality we're getting now and again the quality is only going to be continuing to improve i'm going to be continuing to improve myself the videos the editing everything and i want to take you on this journey with me and if you guys have any sort of questions in the comments i always heart and read all the comments because i really do care and i want you guys to do well this is why i made this video hopefully you guys have I don't know, taking something from this video, even if it's just like motivation. Because again, I believe in you guys, you just gotta believe in yourself. I know this sounds kind of cliche and just like, and like borderline cringe, but genuinely just believe in yourself, stay consistent, stay true to what you enjoy and the results will come with it. But you've got to want to strive to improve. You really have to try and find and locate weak points in your own ability, your own gameplay, your own recording, your own speech, everything and just see if you can improve it one way or another. And there's loads of videos to watch on YouTube that can also help along with that. But that's enough for me today. I hope you did enjoy. Consider liking, subscribing. Again, I upload every day and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vid. Make sure to go watch all my other vids. I dropped like an, an hour long video yesterday. It's quite a long one. So if you're bored, I guess go watch that. <laughs>